Monday, Monday. Howdy, howdy. Uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm back. Oh, so, um, working in a restaurant can suck sometimes. Uh, so basically, my weekend of plans for working on the machines went zero because we had a couple people out of work or out doing other things and one person left because they weren't feeling well so I had to work on my days off um, so I did not get to do my full long stream that I wanted to do on Friday but we did accomplish something we got it to power on we worked on the uh, uh, transistor issue so we got a steady five volts now going to the board we got it to power on it does not power into uh, attract mode, which we're going to work on today, I think. Um, but I can get it to play a game. I can get it set up to play a game. So, And it'll play a complete game. So that tells me the MPU is working really well. The other thing that's not working is our back box is not lighting up uh, scores or bulbs. So we got to check the general illumination. we got to check the uh, scores voltage going to the scores, which I think is right. I think we've measured that. Um, there's some diodes on here. Maybe they're burnt out. Either way, there's a lot to check on there. But today, I want to see if I can get it to power on and immediately go into attract mode. And I think what's going to have to happen is um, we'll bring you to the main camera up here so we get all three. Uh, ooh, I'm in all the shots. I'm in all the shots. So we're going to uh, be back in here and actually do the uh, battery because I was thinking about it like why doesn't it go into a track mode when you first turn it on and I was thinking about like our other Williams machines which are not pinball they're uh, video games uh, Stargate, Joust, Robotron um, and I do know that if you do not turn them on or if they don't have a battery in them or it does not have the memory holding in it, then it won't immediately go to attract mode in those video games. It'll go to a different mode where it says operator reset factory settings or blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking the same thing's happening here. So we're going to install a battery pack uh, in the spot where there was one to begin with. So it was right here. Um, luckily the guy who had it before us out of all the stupid things that he's done to this machine, the one good thing is he made he made a remote battery. Uh, we cut it off though, so we're going to do a new one on the same spot. Now I had a bunch of different choices to do. I could have done uh, the uh, capacitor. I could have done the RAM, or I could put it in another battery pack. And we're going to do another battery pack because it was easy, it was cheap. The only thing is I. I bought these battery packs off uh, Amazon. The only thing is I got AAA instead of AA, but I don't think that's going to matter. Uh, and it's also, it's not very long leads on here, so we're going to add some wire to it. One of these cameras, all three of the cameras can show the wire. We're going to add some wire to it so that it has some length, uh, and then we're going to put batteries in here, and then maybe, I would suspect the first time that I run it through, it'll still have the same problem. But the second time with the battery pack on, maybe we'll get it to uh, power on the way it's supposed to. So that's what we're going to do today when our work brake repair. We're going to wire in this battery pack. And I'm pretty sure I have batteries. Also, uh, Brent's been working on the play field. Let's go to this camera. Look at me with all these different cameras now. It's all the same. But So Brent's been working on the play field. He's not entirely done yet. But look at that baby shine. It's starting to shine really well. He has gotten rid of the majority of the line that was here and the majority of the line that was over here. So it's getting to be nice and smooth. Um, obviously there's a lot of cleaning we're gonna have to do because it's splattering uh, the wax and the polish and stuff all over the place. But when it's all said and done, it's gonna be nice and clean. The other thing we're going to do uh, that, we, that Brent was waiting on was we tested bulbs in here for LEDs. So we tested three cool white, three red ones, and three warm whites to see which ones work the best. 
I suspected it was going to be the red, and it ended up being the red. The red LED bulbs in this look amazing. So we only have three in there right now, uh, but Brent had to order like 150 red bulbs so we can do this machine. But when this lights up, it is freaking bright and perfect red. It is beautiful. Amazing difference. Like it has never looked before. Even factory with the incandescence cannot look as beautiful as it did with the red LED. So it's going to be really cool when we get to light up the whole thing. But yeah, so we're just going to do this battery pack and figure out how our power is working. Um, other things we're going to do, I'm trying to get these get the camera over here for a second. The controls right here. Brent wants to powder coat these things. So I'm trying to get them apart and they've got these little pins in here and I cannot punch them out. They're not punching out very well. So what we're probably going to do is drill them out very carefully and have to put new ones in just so that we can take it apart because Brent wants to get these all nice and powder coated and cleaned up. But for now, they're kind of in my way. <laughs> so I'm going to set them back out of the way for now. But yeah, so not a lot. There's my messy table. Not too messy. If, if you don't have a messy work table, you're not working, right? Just set it up right here for a second. Uh, get these guys out of the way and I'm going to like I said the, the wires are not long enough so we're going to put in longer wires on the battery uh, things and I think I have some heat shrink and I think I have gas in my thing so yeah so let's get let's get that set up this should not take too long hopefully other than the fact you're moving cameras Moving cameras, can't believe. Playfield though is going to look freaking amazing when it's done. Right now I'm just getting my tripod short so I can set it on my table. It'd be nice if I had some quick transfer thing with the camera so I could just like, or have a fourth camera. That would be an idea. Maybe I should have a, just a desk camera at all times. But I don't. We don't have money, so that's what we get. Uh, there we go. Get on the desk. Noise and point at the desk. Yeah. Back over here, big, big blues, shop towels. Here's a little punch. Uh, I think recently it was uh, Dead Flip was talking about these little punches. I have not used it on a pinball application, but I can see how they could be useful. But these things are freaking awesome. Basically, it's a punch. It, what we were using it for was like trim on when we're putting baseboards down to get the nails in to go far faster. So you got different tensions on it and you just put it up against it and it puts like a little perfect hole. So it's really awesome. Little simple thing. Anyway, I was trying to use that to maybe punch out those cotter pins and it did not work. All right, we have this over here. These were really cheap on Amazon. They've got an on off switch, so that's a thing. Um, I still have my small ones. Let me get my small wire cutters that I dropped on the floor. And heat shrink. I think all I need is a tiny heat shrink. I should have some, yes. Heat shrink and my torch. I hope that this fixes the problem with, with that because that is just a, it seems like it should be a simple thing. So let's just take the simple, that's the stupid incandescent bulbs we don't need. For one, trash. All right, we're going to need that. Let's put that back on there. Uh, I've got to strip some of these wires a little bit. 
don't have a lot of time today. Depending on what happens today and how far we get, um, tomorrow we might have to devote all the time to getting the, uh, what is it, tiny wires. Uh, devote all the time to getting the um, back box and uh, general illumination working. There we go. It's good to be back though. I wish I didn't have to work like I did, but I do. Oh my gosh, these wires suck. They're so tiny. Maybe because it's done in China? So yeah, we're gonna move it simple there. And this came with, this This uh, extra wire came with the Brent's thing that he bought. Those lighting things, but we obviously don't need it, so we're going to steal the wire. Steal the wires. seems to be this exact same size or roughly the same size get home all right then I want to get one step I probably could have done was put the heat shrink on there before I cut the ends off it's okay it's okay I'm just gonna cut this in half slide it over hopefully yeah it would have been a lot easier to put this on before I uh, cut the end off and the thing I learned about heat shrink is make sure your heat shrink is very far away from the end when you get started or else you're gonna melt it trying to put your solder on your wire and that would be a bad thing we are not trying to do that Hopefully we'll go fairly quickly. We'll test it. We'll make sure it's got the proper voltage, which should be 4.5 volts, I believe, right? I guess you don't need that that much voltage to do the memory, but that's what was on there. That's what these will do. No big deal. Get this to slide down. Come on, buddy. Just slide down. Slide. All you gotta do is slide. This was also just a cheap, really quick thing to get. Just get this off Amazon and just, hopefully, um, if I wanted to later, I could always change it out. But for now, dude, are you not grabbing onto anything? slide why is it not sliding it's got too much too much red wire on there on the end of it maybe I need a little bit bigger one if I have a little bit bigger don't think I do you have to live with that put it on this one. Put it on the other side. That will work. Twist it. Twisting the night away. These ones didn't say they had an on off switch, but they do, so it's okay. We can deal with on off switches. Alright, black to black. Black black. turn my fan on but this is just going to be real quick anyway come on there we go what? get off of there this 
this the best way to do this? Probably not. We need a little bit anyway. There we go. Not very clean, but I don't care. It's all about to be done. I'm gonna let that cool down for a second so I don't heat up, inadvertently heat up my heat shrink too early. Guy. I think I got batteries. Ooh, that'd be bad if I don't have any batteries. I think I got batteries. I just want a little bit. Not a lot. to do this way. It's not the way I want to do it. Basically, I probably should just get some better heat shrink that's the right size. I used it all up. When all else fails, we could just do uh, electrical tape. <laughs> it's not an important, super important part. Which I think we're going to have to do because I don't think the heat shrink, the shrink is going to slide over this. Yeah, it's just too small. Although that one's going pretty big. All right, well, we tried. Just do a little bit of tape, that's all. Gonna find where I put the batteries. There's the batteries, okay, good. Whew, this is gonna be a really short trip if I couldn't find the batteries. Scissors would be good too. Go. That's what we're doing, man. I think it's going to be cool. Hyperball is getting close, I think. I mean, a lot closer than it was a couple months ago, right? From being completely dead. All right. And then I just want this to be long enough that it's completely away from the boards. But I want to cut this off first and just make sure that we got the right voltage going through here. This is way longer than I need, but where is my... Trim that down. I need my multimeter and batteries. Batteries. Yeah, I have enough. Not only do I have batteries, I have enough batteries. Minus plus. Minus plus. It's in the on position. Why is that? That is a lousy setup. This is where you get the problems with China, I guess. The wires are kind of stupid. All right, it'll still work. Now we just need to make sure we got the voltage red side and the black side. Four point eight, four point four. There we go, we got voltage. That's good. Alright, then we're just gonna 
install it and make sure we don't accidentally uh, turn it off. There we go. Little battery pack. Fun, fun times. Do, do, do. Ooh, that's the wrong camera. Let's do that one. There we go. That makes more sense. Getting to be a beautiful thing. Brent was supposed to be back here, and he's not. We're supposed to be buying a pinball machine today. Uh, and Brent was going to be back here, but apparently he's taking his time. It would really suck if the pinball machine goes sold before we can get the guy paid. Alright. That's the floor. How's the floor doing? The floor's doing great. One, two, here we are. Back box, we're going up here. To where the battery pack was. Probably doesn't need to be that close. Um, I need my other soldering iron plugged in. Get that chance to heat up. We'll see about how much, how long the wire is gonna be. Sorry about that. It's basically, I just want it to sit down in here with enough room. We'll just tuck it in through behind one of these wiring harnesses or something. Just cut that off. Fun times, fun times, all right. I mean, this definitely gonna be long enough right here. Extra wire goes in the extra wire bucket. <coughs> Excuse me, don't have a razor over here. Oh, I put them all away. Oh, well, I can do it with this. Flip the wires. There we go. Well, not like that. Plunk. Let me get a different razor blade here. There razor blade by morning. There we go. Now, now it's better. We're gonna hope that this solves the startup issue. Definitely not gonna be a part of the uh, lighting issue yet, but whatever, one step at a time. I think that's why there was this duct tape that was down here. I think they were holding it in, but we're going to use double-sided sticky tape when we get there. Okay. Also want a towel to keep my wires apart so I don't accidentally drop some solder where I don't want solder. Come here, towel. Hopefully. Clearly marked on the board, plus and minus, so that's where we're going to do the wires. This leg is way off. There we go, a little bit straighter. Plus and minus. Got to give your, uh, got to give your boards bibs, so they don't spill anything on them. I think I left my 
headlamp at home. That's okay, I have others. This one's got juice? Yes, it does. Ooh, it's also very tight. It's not meant to go over my hat. This was a pre pre-stream version of my headlamp that didn't have to go over a hat. There we go. To there. Solder. May not need solder. I think there might be enough on here. Yeah, we need solder anyway. So red to positive. Come on, drink it up. It should not be that long. It should not take that long. more light in there. There's some light. Come here, you. It, right? That should be it. It should have battery power now. So remember what we're suspecting, expecting is that it'll still give me the same problem when I turn it on the first time. But hopefully the second time it should be alright. Go back to this one. stuff off of here. This does not solve all of our problems, but hopefully it solves one of them. Okay. Oops. Text message. His name is Drew. Alright, cool. We'll do this and then I'm gonna be buying a pinball machine. So woohoo! New pinball machine! Awesome! All right, and if you notice, did you hear that sound? That was my, uh, that was Brent's, Brent's ringtone is the Williams startup sound for uh, Stargate, just so you know. Special for him. All right, power. Okay. Wish me luck here, people. Hi, Pez. Don't say zap. Let's turn this light off. Hopefully you'll be able to see this going on. Alright, this is what I expected the first time. And then I'll hit this button. Nine. Hold on. I did that before. Oh, you got to do it with the door open. Okay. This is all these Williams things. Hold on. All right. Doors open. That. That comes on. Right? So now it should have some sort of memory at least, right? It should say we're all good to go. So hopefully, because the batteries are on. Hopefully when uh, we put and turn it back off, it goes back into a track mode. Hopefully. We 
turn these lights off up here real quick because they're kind of destroying the play field magic. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see that, like as earlier, these were the red ones. The difference between LED and incandescence. They look a little bit red, a little bit orange on the stream, but I guarantee you they are bright red. They're not orange, they're bright red. But there's a big difference in the brightness between them and the incandescent. So this thing is going to be beautiful lit up. All right. So now our test is to turn it off and see if it comes back on without any issues. Closing the door. Now, does it come on automatically into startup mode? Please do it. All it needed was batteries. Okay, so that's a th success. So that's a Williams thing. It's not just pinball. It's Stargate, Robotron, Joust, those games, because that's what it got me thinking about, because our Robotron, if the batter we don't have batteries in it. And if you turn it on, it'll go to that little lock screen. You have to open the door, shut it off, turn it back on again, blah, blah, blah. So that was the problem. You have to have batteries installed or whatever you're going to do for memory needs to be installed first before you turn it on. And then once you do that, you go through its little diagnostic cycle and there you go. But now we're back to these problems. Nothing's going on up here. So we're going to have to work on the voltages or something for these guys. So I'm hoping it's just the power getting to them and not that they're out. Because I would have to figure out about ordering new ones. Because I don't think these are plasma. I think these are LED. Success, success. And then the other thing is the general illumination lights. Other than that, I can't reach in there. Let me see if I can start up a game. Where's the light? Normally there'd be a thing here so I couldn't reach in here, but... <coughs> Two credits. Push this down here a little bit. Put me in. I got you, man. You got two credits. We've got a two-player. You can hear the ball lift. It's kind of chunky, but it's moving very smoothly, so I'm going to guess that that's right. You don't get a lot of time. Player two is up already. Just trying to hit these in an unnatural way. Alien? Spell alien or what? Ah. I guess one thing I can't... No, I can't do it. I don't have everything hooked up. Critical. It's going to die here, too. Player one. I don't know how many uh, lives you get. Assumably, you're shooting at all these targets. But, yeah, we're not, we're not to that point yet. But we are... Game over, player one. So you get two chances. Player two. I mean, we're getting a really good success with this. It is very loud, though. Obviously, it's loud. You can feel it vibrating like crazy. Game over. Everything shuts off except for the fan. The fan keeps going, but it plays through a complete game, which is beautiful. Um, how much time do I have? Uh, I still have a few minutes. Let's, actually, I need to buy this pinball machine real quick, and then uh, we'll come back. Let me see if I can do this. Um, Cancel. Uh, add to contacts. Yes.
add a name. So yeah, we're buying a pinball machine today. That's good. Create new contact. Looks good so far. Thank you, Pez. So um, this guy wants to be paid a certain way, so I have to call him. Oh yeah, is it Roller Games? No, it is not. Uh, I think we paid a little bit too much for it, what we're getting, but Brent's cool with it. It looks really good. The play field looks really good. Backlight looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, so I got to call this guy real quick and send him the money. So we'll do that while we're it's there. There are there's roller games that I want near me that just don't have 819 right now. No, I don't. Let's see if he answers. <laughs> Tell him to say hi. Not answering, I might have to text him. Is that the right phone number? I'm sure that's the right phone number. All right. I got I got to confirm with Brent here. confirm with Brent while we're doing this. I, uh, I don't know with uh, general illumination because there shouldn't be nothing going on. Like there shouldn't be a lot of stuff because like I said, it comes up through this thing and then just goes out through the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, those fuse. There's nothing on the power supply for it. I get it. I'll get it. somewhere in this camera all right so replacing the bottle cap fixed the five volts it absolutely did we got a steady 5.06 coming off the MPU now so yes it did fix it um, so yeah we're gotta go right in here so I don't know if I maybe I don't think I've wired something wrong but maybe I'm not getting a good enough contact eight eight three one Oh, you punk. See, this is why Brent, Brent. Eight. Where are, see now I gotta get my phone to work right. Contacts. This new guy. Drew. Edit. Eight, three, one. Eight, eight, three, one. All right. Okay, so pinball we're buying. 1979. Atari. Yep. Superman. Right on, Pez. Hi, uh, my name is Daniel. Uh, you talked to my friend Brent about purchasing the Superman, and I guess I'm the guy that has to uh, send you the money through uh, Zelle. Just uh, give me a call back or text me to confirm that this is the number to send it to, and I will send you the money. Thank you very much. Bye. Might be screening calls. But yes, it is a Superman. Uh, you can see it on Facebook and on Pinside for sale. The cabinet looks like garbage, but not not non-fixable garbage. But the play field and the back glass look freaking amazing. So yeah, we're getting a, hopefully, if this guy calls me back, we're getting a Superman. Never had an Atari pinball. I guess there's not a lot of them. All right, 
gonna take this off real quick. Make sure I got the wires on there. Just down in this corner. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think it matters uh, which one goes where. You'll be on your way to Hercules soon. Dude, I mean, it uses a pool cue or, or pool ball. Why not? That would be awesome. Brent played one in Austin. I mean, it was clunky because it wasn't working properly, but uh, Brent played one in Austin. I know I'm getting continuity between, well, we'll check again because, uh, but I know I'm getting continuity off the board to the wires through the fuse. But we'll check again because you never know. You could have, you could have messed something up and we're not, I'm not noticing. That's on there tight. That's on there tight. All right, so all I, all I have in the play field right now, there's one bulb here and a couple on this side for general illumination and then a few just left up on the back box. But it should be enough. True. I'll call you back in a minute. Yes, this is the correct number call. Number myself or myself or Zell. Thanks, Drew. All right, cool. He's going to call me back. Yeah, so it wasn't there. But at least we're starting in the startup mode now. I wish more people would be okay with using Zell. I've never used it before, like right now. I've never heard about it, but. Um, my only thing was I do everything through my credit card and they don't let you do a credit card. You have to use a debit card. So I had to go home, find my debit card and hook that up. But I'll find out. I mean, it's got good reviews. This is what this guy wants to use. I'm fine with it. I mean, I could just do it now, right? or wait for him to confirm that he still has it before I just moving stuff from bank account to bank account. It's all numbers. It's all numbers, man. The world is all numbers. All right. So we need to figure out this uh, six volt circuit to make sure it's working. Because uh, the general illumination lights are right here on there. Where is, there it is. And I don't know what transformer it comes off of. I think it comes off of this other transformer. We got a little bit of a little bit of uh, painter's tape on here because Brent's doing the playfield, and he's splashing everywhere. All right, I want to be unplugged. So we're just verifying that it comes off of there. That's the only yellow wires, so. They're down at the bottom. Okay. That's out of the way. This thing's out of the way for now. We'll put it back on. Ooh, get it off of there. It's going to get hot there. Let's get back over this side doesn't get hot. Just want to check make Oh, here we go. Hello, this is Daniel. Hi. OK, 
Okay. I just wanted to make sure it was still there. We're not. I'm not randomly sending money to a game that's already gone. So are we good? Okay. All right. So I'll I'll uh, send it to you. I've never used Zelle before, so I'm gonna. Hopefully, it should. I think it's instant, right? Okay. 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 Just watch it. Okay. Well, then I will, uh, yeah, because I, I, I think it made it, what it, it did when I tried to just open it up, you have to link your contacts. So I had to create a contact for you in my phone and then, uh, I can find it that way. Cause yeah, that's, it wouldn't just let me type in your number if you're not in my phone. So I had to create a contact, but yeah, it's weird, but if it works, it works. Yeah, that's that's freaking awesome. Okay, Just, I don't know if they show you an ad. <laughs> All right, well, I I'll uh, I'll get it sent to you. All right, thank you. Bye. Uh, extra Superman stream tonight? Unfortunately, no, uh, because it's in Phoenix. We're we are we're having a friend of ours in Phoenix pick it up. So it's probably going to be a couple weeks before we get Superman. But heck yeah, it works. It works. Uh, other than the cosmetic issues, it's already been LED'd and it looks freaking awesome. So I'm going to send this guy money and we're going to have a freaking Superman. <laughs> Logged out. Aww. So Zell, how do you make money? How does Zell make money? That's what he was asking. Send, name, Drew, to, at, for, Superman, done, here we go, I am, okay, only people you trust, Face ID, over weekly limit, wait, what? You have a different, you may have different limits set when you change them out. What's your weekly limit? Major banks, they don't need to make money, make more money. Maybe not show your phone on stream. Oh. Can you see that? Can you can't? I didn't think you can see anything. Okay, sorry, my bad. Uh, let's see. Info. All right. Hi, wild dog. Just in case. Well, how about we try? less than that over weekly limit you may have sent you may have different send limits when using Zelle in your transaction will put you over the weekly limit Okay, so apparently it's got to be different. You might need to talk to your bank about the weekly limit since you haven't done it before. Oh, okay. Hope your project's going well. I've been lurking, working, lurking for quite a bit. Yeah, we got some power going on. I'll text him back here. Uh, I don't know what the thing is, but we'll... Uh, right. Sure. Not really sure. I don't know. Talk to my bank about the. Well, my bank's not connected because. Weekly 
Adam Azell says, talk to your bank. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll figure that out. So apparently there's a limit on Zell. You can't just flip that. Uh, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were, we were testing stuff. We were testing. Uh, let's see, this one. Oh, that's not gonna help. Duh, duh, duh. duh. I could try to send you a request first, maybe that makes a difference. Alright, so he's barely used the app. I barely, I've never used the app. Making sure I got contact here. Pretty sure I did these right. Yeah. So we got continuity going through there. Are you using the Zelle app or the Zelle through your bank? It's the app because my bank wasn't listed. okay with using PayPal because it would have been quicker but if there's a limit thing going on here that's good to know for pinball purchases apparently all right this other thing here unplug it yes it is I will figure it out we will figure it out we will get this we'll make absolutely sure I didn't just do something wonky and backwards. And then we'll test voltages. Oh, yeah. Do this the right way. Wells Fargo has their, has it in their app. They're part of the collaboration. What came up with Zell? Let's see what that says. Hold on. Okay. Set request. Let's see if it works now. Activity. I'm not on the screen. Let's see if it'll work. Over weekly limit. Dang it. I'm gonna see if I can just send him the 500 and then go to the bank.
Maybe Western Union. If I need, need to send it, I'll send you, yeah, I'll send you money. See if that does anything. Sometimes, just sometimes. Ta da! Ta da! Look, general illumination lights. Oh, those ones just went back out. They were on. Is it not? Dang it. That was interesting. Cash app as well, or maybe your bank could increase the weekly limit. Yeah. Maybe we can do a try capture. Was it fuses? Did I blow a fuse? Is that what we're saying? There's only one fuse, right? And it's on. I didn't blow, I don't think I blew a fuse, but it was on for a minute. Suggesting look at them. I will look at them. Pez, keep up with those suggestions. It's a good idea. Nothing would be working if those ones were out. Yeah. All right, I see Cash App, if I can get Cash App. Mm -hmm. I had Cash App. It's not, you're not st just not seeing anything. Dang it, Pez, quit pointing out things I shouldn't be doing. Uh, the only thing I did different was I put them in the uh, other way around. I had the black one, to, you know, they're both yellow wires, but I think I had the black one to the one side and then the uh, that so maybe I'm just not getting a good enough contact on my wires here yo beard is life flashed on for a second that was interesting huh that was that was rather interesting okay Cash up some money and try to use the cash card. See if it 
give me uh, join Drew on. I already got the app. Yeah. Now I gotta set it back up. All right. Come on. Open. Where do we got? I'm not on the stream. get this. I will figure this out. Open. Pay. Wait. Two, one, two, three. Pay. Works best access to contacts, allow access, K, D, R, E, W, Drew, Superman, uh, link, thank you, dang it! Is going on here? This is not working at all. Order your cash card. Link bank. Oh my gosh. Pain in the butt. All right. We'll do it later. Let's figure this thing out here. Why is this flashing? on for a second and then going out. I'm going to have to, didn't realize it would be such a pain. Yeah. Actually just trying to send money to a guy. How, how, why is it such a problem? I don't know. Ah, uh, come on. Should be nothing else in this circuit other than, I guess, maybe a diode or something. Because if we're going directly to the general illumination and it was on before it just went, nope. That's that. That's good freaking contact. Now nothing. Dang it, it was there. Well, we've extended this beyond what I'm willing to do here. Oh yeah, because we're way past an hour. All right, so this will have to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> this will have to wait till tomorrow's stream. But it'll give me time to look it up. Why did it go on and then just shut off? And it was on for like a good, uh, I would say a minute, 45 seconds or something. Weird. Anyway, I'll look it up and we'll get it, that going again. At least the, the main part of it's working still. We got the, the game part coming on. Good luck with the Superman purchase. Thank you. We're trying. Uh, yeah. We'll come back tomorrow night and work on that. But thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, we at least got the, the power on without uh, having to go back and hitting buttons. So battery pack installed. 
Work Break Pinball. Thank you, Pez, for hanging out. Beard is life. Uh, whoever else was hanging out, I forget who was all hanging out. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow night after 6-ish. Take care, guys. I'm going to buy me a Superman. I swear I am.